this is certainly an exciting day. It is a day for the OU baseball family to unite. See Coach Seymour is here, Coach Koshell is here today. Um, we are in the not too distant future going to undergo a multi-million dollar eye-popping renovation at Mitchell Park under head coach Skip Johnson. These are certainly exciting days. And now to introduce the new head baseball coach of the Oklahoma Sooners, please welcome Athletics Director Joe Castiglione. That show of support is truly vital for our program. In fact, it's important for us to uh, build upon it, to cultivate it, as we develop the kinds of resources that our program's going to need as we go forward to pursue championships. As we all know, there's a journey, a process, to developing the skills of individual players and building chemistry of a team. Teams generally take on the personality of their leaders. When we vetted a variety of excellent candidates for this job, we learned a lot of good things about each one of them. I'd like to thank Greg Tipton, uh, some of our head coaches, our staff, that all served uh, in helping throughout the search process. Really appreciate your input. And we wanted someone who had been part of winning championships, who had been to Omaha. We found it in Arthur Johnson. His passion, his purpose, his vision, his plan, continually impressed us. Okay, I see a few of you. You're like, I think he just said the wrong name, Arthur. There are a lot of people in here who didn't know his real name was Arthur, did you? <laughs> You're wondering, how do you get Skip out of Arthur? Well, not to digress, but as the story goes, they had a neighbor that was named Skip. And when uh, his mother was pregnant with Arthur, Skip's older brother would pat his mother's belly and would say, there's my Skipper, there's my Skipper. And so while he was born Arthur, from that moment he was always known as Skip. Regardless of how he got his nickname, we studied and learned a lot about his relationship building skills, eye for talent, his player development and knowledge of the game. All those that he would encounter came away loving him and being inspired by his own spirit. They trusted him, they listened to him, they considered him a brother, a teacher, a mentor, obviously a coach. He embodies the kinds of characteristics that we totally believe are the strength of our Sooner Magic culture and what we believe is important to the formula for our ultimate success. Now, don't let his down-the-earth demeanor trick you into thinking that he isn't a competitor. He might try to trick you that thinking in that, but he is a fierce competitor. You're not going to out-hunt him. You're not going to out-fish him. And believe me, don't try to go bowling with him. Um, whether it's rolling strikes or throwing strikes, Skip is a fierce competitor. And he conveys that to all those around him. So when we put all these pieces together and all the other characteristics that we believed was important in hiring the next coach, we realized that we actually had the best person right here, as it would be in the bullpen. So I guess it's only proper that I turn to Skip and I give you the sign and ask you that you now come out, sprint to the mound, and take over the baseball as our new head coach. So won't you join me in welcoming the new skipper, Skip Johnson. Well, following those two guys, I mean, it's probably going to be pretty tough. Uh, they can really talk, and it's uh, pretty awesome. But um, 
I want to thank the OU Board of Regents, President Bourne, Athletics Director Joe Castiglione, Senior Associate Athletic Director Greg Tipton, and for having the conviction and the faith in me to carry this program on to, uh, I don't know about bigger and better things, but to carry this program on and make sure that we develop players and and lead these good, lead these young men and student athletes to better, you know, uh, uh, bigger and better things. Um, first off, I want to thank my family for all the things that they've done. It's been a long time coming. 27 years of college baseball, and my wife Kathy, Tyler, and Garrett. Um, Been a lot of long nights, probably waiting on me to come in from the road, putting 370,000 miles on my truck, or being gone for 27 days in a row recruiting, and just trying to uh, make ends meet when I was in junior college in Corsicana, Texas. But I want to thank you guys for being here for me. Uh, the next thing uh, I want to kind of start is uh, I want to thank um, Ryan Gaines, Mike Anderson, Dylan Stanley, and Birdo for being here, <clears throat> and Robert Fulton for being here for me, uh, and to talk about the family over at the baseball field and w what we've done um, to our players. Relationships is everything with me. I think it's. Uh, you can go win national championships, um, but it's the relationships that matter to me. It's getting a phone call at 2 o'clock in the morning or the guy struggling in professional baseball or he comes in your office and talks to you. It's, that's what matters. We can win championships. I, there's no doubt I want to win championships as bad as anybody. But um, the relationships mean everything to me. Always have and always will. That's the only reason I'm here the relationships I've built before. A player development program means a lot to me as well. I think the biggest thing for us on an everyday basis, if we're going to engage with our eyes and our heart as coaches, and we're going to encourage uh, young men positively and give them every opportunity to get better and making sure that the team comes first in every form and fashion. Um, the love and care of players are very important to me because without these guys, uh, there's no us. And that's the only reason I'm up here. I got a lot of texts last night from former players, and uh, I just texted back and said, you guys made it happen as well as I did. Um, and if you leave your mark on a kid's heart, you carve your name on a kid's heart, you can carve it on marble. And a lot of former coaches that are here, I appreciate it. They understand what I'm talking about. And former players, because the ultimate go is to carve your name on their heart and then marble. Because it's important to me that you guys are here as well to understand that um, I'm going to try to carry on the tradition that you left, the mark that you left. Um, to all my mentors, to kind of tell a story, uh, my high school coach, Coach Blair, he uh, made me love the game every day. Um, I was at Denton High School, me and Tim Tadlock, at, he's at Texas Tech. He was a sophomore and I was a senior. He made us love the game every day to come out there and practice and, and uh, get better. Then I got the opportunity to sign a scholarship with Ranger Junior College for $250. Wasn't a lot of money, but I knew uh, that it was a place where I didn't have an air conditioner in my dorm room or a heater and there were crickets everywhere. And, and I, I learned a lot about what mental toughness was about. It was uh, important to me at that time. And then I got the opportunity to go play for one of the uh, greatest men's I've met is uh, Al Ogletree and Reggie Treadaway. These guys are mentor, mentors of mine. They're very important to me because they taught me how to teach the game and direct each other one step at a time because teaching the game is fun. You see these guys that are 
out here that teach the game, but it's more about learning one step at a time because that's what learning is. And these guys taught me the patience of it in it. Um, and then getting the opportunity from Bob McElroy and Keith Thomas. Keith Thomas is a former OU alum that played football here and coached here. These guys gave me the opportunity at Navarro to coach where I got to learn the failures and the success in the, of, of the game by getting to practice seven, eight, nine hours a day. I know there uh, wasn't any compliance rules if there's any compliance guys out there in junior college. You know, it was, it was about making them better. So uh, um, I learned a lot at uh, uh, Navarro, you know, of what to do and what not to do. And then I got the opportunity to coach for a great man named Augie Garrido. And I learned a lot from him and Tommy Harmon along the way. The pressures of the game is really what I learned there. I really thought I knew what I was doing when I went there. And come to find out, I didn't know. So I had to really make sure that I practice those pressures that those kids are going to go through. If we're going to ask those guys to do something, we need to go through that pressure. And um, I really learned a lot there. To all the alumni, my door's always open. Um, I want you to come. I want to visit. I want to visit with you. Come to the bullpen. Come around. These guys want to know what you went through when you were here. It's important our players to understand that you left a mark here, and we're going to carry on the tradition and we're going to carry the torch. Um, to the guys that sit out on the berm, um, it's very important that you guys are there for us as well. The red couch guy that sits out there that we have fun with, have to send the policeman out there every day. But we love you guys. And for the yard birds that sit up in the, the stands that yell and scream at us about throwing strikes, just make sure you understand they're amateurs too. They're not professionals. And we're going to do everything we can. And we don't have a joystick in the dugout to make them, make them swing and miss it or make them hit the ball with a, a, some kind of shot collar on their neck. But uh, our product on the field is going to be, going to be tough. Um, guys are going to get after it. Um, we're going to play hard every day. Um, and that's the expectation. That's accountability. Uh, <clears throat> and I, I'd be fail to mention this is, um, you know, I learned about OU from Tim Tadlock uh, and the OU brand a long time ago when he was here and I was, I was at a junior college. He taught me, he told me that this place was, had a high expectation in what it was about. Um, the atmosphere was a family owned business and I, I was here for a year. I believe it. I know how important Oklahoma athletics and Oklahoma baseball is to um, the state of Oklahoma. Um, I built a lot of relations here, relationships here the year that I was here and continue to want to build those relationships as we go on in the near future. And I really appreciate it and I'm honored to carry the torch for the University of Oklahoma as the head baseball coach. Thank you.